Celtic appear to be plotting a move for Barnsley man Callum Styles, And we have to talk about yesterday. No one in Scotland gave Celtic a chance at the start of the season. And boom we are champions again. Let's get 167 likes for yesterday. After all winning cups isn't for everyone. Are you happy? Celtic appear to be plotting a move for Barnsley man Callum Styles. The 21-year-old is primarily a left midfielder who can also play as a central or attacking midfielder. The 5-foot for speedster is valued at £2.7 million and is approaching 100 Barnsley appearances after joining from Berry back in 2018. The Englishman extended his Oakwell stay last year and was linked with a move to Leeds United earlier this year, and it seems as if the hoops are now keen on his services. Are checking on styles ahead of the January window. This comes on the day of Celtic's League Cup final triumph against Hibernian, with interim CEO Michael Nicholson seemingly busy on the transfer front. Celtic have reportedly reached an agreement with Kawasaki Frontale, for Rio Hattate, who can also play on the left and in midfield, so the hoops may well be checking in on Styles as a possible alternative, or even another January signing alongside the Japanese ace. He appears to be a player with great potential following the links with a Premier League club in the summer, so if the hoops can bring Styles to Glasgow in the new year, he would provide Postacogla with another option in multiple positions as the 56-year-old looks to continue his Parkhead rebuild. David Turnbull injury extent laid bare as Celtic boss Angie Postacoglu explains the cause. Turnbull has played almost every minute of Celtic's season so far, and suffered the consequences today. David Turnbull suffered a hamstring injury because of the fatigue of playing too many games. That's the view of Celtic boss. Oh, this should get the comment section going today. Turnbull was the latest hoop star to be forced off with a hammy issue following Albion Ajeti. Hotta and Kyogo in recent weeks. The midfielder hobbled off but Celts managed to seal a 2-1 victory and Postacogla's first trophy in his stead. But the manager explained that Turnbull has been an ever-present since he arrived at Parkhead which has not been ideal on his recovery time. David suffered from the number of games we are playing at the moment, the manager said. Angie Postacogla has his first trophy as the Celtic manager, with this win in the Premier Sports Cup, alias the Scottish League Cup, and he can take particular credit for the feat because, it was secured by two dashing goals from Kyogo Furuhashi, identified by the manager as a crucial summer import, from the J-League in Japan. Furuhashi consolidated his place in the affections of Celtic fans with a beautifully executed double. Postacoglu admitted there was no way he could have kept Furuhashi off the Hamden pitch despite struggling with an injury. Good luck from me trying to keep him out, the Australian said. There was no chance. He would have snuck onto the bus and snuck onto the field at some point without me seeing. He just had it in his head he was going to play. He wanted to help the players and help the team and he wanted to be part of this. Having worked in Japan, I know their mentality. They are a really strong culture in facing up to their responsibilities and I think he felt responsible to go out there and help the players. Hibs were obliged to compete under the temporary stewardship of their former captain, David Gray, who had responsibility thrust upon him when Jack Ross was sacked. Gray oversaw a performance from his underdog players which came close to delivering silverware against significant odds. Paul Hanlon gave Hibbs the lead with a header six minutes after the break and Kevin Nisbet headed off the post in injury time during an absorbing finale. Furuhashi scored both of Celtic's goals, the second coming off a stunning assist from Sekiro Tom Rogic, proving his addition another post to masterstroke. For context, the Japanese star joined Celtic for a bargain £4.5 million. Tell in the comments in three words how you feel about the Celtic managers today. Have a great day Celtic fans.